Alright, do we want to go to the Fen Anomaly or to Kapachi? I think we want to go to uh, Kapachi. The Fen's just bloodsuckers, isn't it? So I guess I've just got to cover these people for now. Alpha, beta, and gamma radiation readings taken. I assume they were hobbling in this direction for a reason. Electromagnetic field scan in progress. Yeah, they're definitely hobbling this way for a reason. Electromagnetic field scan complete. Okay, how many other scans are you gonna do, bud? Oh, looks like that might be it. Wait, no, no, he's back at it. My personnel scanner just ticked up to seven. Data acquired for all ranges. Yeah, good for you. I'm more worried about where those blips are coming from. It can't be them. That guy's too far away. Here we are. We're getting there. The torsion field scan is almost done. If they got any closer, I wouldn't have seen them approach us because of the hill. So that was a lucky spot. There's still a reading of seven, though. Yeah, there's more. More turned eight now. More turned up just as those ones went out. Torsion field scan complete. Same location, eh? We're done here, stalker. Now let's get the hell out of here. Alright, they're all done. Alright. Oh, we've got to do Fen anyway, have we? Alright, it's just us now. Stop walking away. Let's go to the Fen. We've actually got help from these guys this time as well. I imagine they'll engage anything that'll kill us. Oh dear. It's mutants this time. Alpha, beta, and gamma radiation readings taken. So yeah, unless they make a sound, we're not gonna know they're here until they're right on top of us because they won't blip on our detector. Those guys really don't give a shit, even though I'm firing bullets right past his arse. Well, at least the storm stopped and I can hear properly now. Electromagnetic field scan complete. I'm seriously surprised they haven't sent a blood sucker at me yet. Acoustic data acquired for all ranges. It took the mutant literally headbutting them for them to realize they were there. Those people are useless. We're getting there. The torsion field scan is almost done. Is it possible to shoot one of these birds down? Oh, it is. Torsion field scan complete. Hmm. We're done here, Stalker. Hey, now let's bro. get the hell out of here. Okay, let's go back to the bunker. I suppose that does make sense because the um, the emissions do kill the birds, don't they? I wasn't sure if they were like actually there or just flat shaded polygons. Okay, did you get the readings? Yeah. Four results. It'll take weeks, if not months, to process fully. Despite this, Novikov has already found excellent practical uses for it. Hmm, okay. So we're going to make a point of telling them about the mutants and the zombies? You think they reacted to the scans? Interesting. 
Looks like you're confirming the hypothesis that mutants telepathically access various fields. It's worth discussing with them. So we've got 7,000 and a Vellas, which we do need to give back to this guy, actually. Interesting. Okay, so apparently there's an anomaly up to the north we'll need a Svarok for, whatever that is. A Svarok, is that a detector, maybe? Well, I don't have one, either way. So let's ask about the measurements. Okay, so it was this guy who had the, uh, the theory that the scans will produce more hostile effects. Well, I've got news for you. You were right, they wouldn't let us rest while we were taking measurements. Okay, so he's talking about how these mutations aren't accidental. Thank you very much for your assistance. Mutant aggression may be caused by intrusion of several people into their territory. Which is normal behaviour for pretty much everybody. The other theory is that they're somehow capable of receiving transmissions, or receiving the active emissions, rather, of our measurement devices. Hmm. So we can test this by activating a measurement device where there's no mutants. Alright, so... Can we go and confirm this? Yeah, we've got a scanner. So basically we're going to go out in the middle of nowhere, in the center of the landslide, so we're going back to the bitumen anomaly, was that one, yeah. Gonna stick this scanner down, and then let stuff okay. attack us, I guess? Bye. So, I did complete that quest, and I was right, I basically just walked into the bitumen anomaly, put down a scanner, and then I got wave assaulted by snorks, and then I just went back and handed it in. However, I experienced a bit of a, uh, let's call it a software issue where my recording software crashed, so unfortunately I can't show you how that went. All the 30 minutes I spent after that investigating anomalies in this area, in Zerton. Just drop this crap off here that I'm not going to need to carry with me. These were the spoils of my discoveries. Now, what I did in the, uh, the parts of gameplay you couldn't see was I explored this whole area because of the quest of the lab down here to bring Gary these artifacts, which only spawn in Zerton. And I found out where each of them spawned a lot of the time. For example, I got another Colobok from the Oak Pine, and I discovered that the swamp here will only spawn chemical artifacts, which is what the meat chunk is. So the swamp is the area that I'm going to be playing with today to try and get a meat chunk. I did, like I mentioned, Find another collar box, which I don't know where that's gone. Okay, um, I'm hoping that I put that in my storage box in Yanov. Because I don't know where my other collar box is. Oh, I've got it equipped. I'm an idiot, okay. Ignore me. And one other discovery I made too. Owl. Sells Velas. Sells the Velas detector. So I've got three of those for the quest now, too. Alright, just drop off anything I don't want to be carrying in here. May as well get rid of the extra artifacts, haven't I? Since I can come back and pick them up in a bit. There's extra detectors, too. Alright, that'll do. What? I spied a bit of ammo I don't need. So yeah, I'm going to head back out to the swamp now and see if I can find myself a meat chunk. Oh, and my detection indicator's bugged again for some reason. Oh, I managed to find the, uh, the stash that was up here attached to this pipe as well. It was one that I only noticed when I went back through the recording. But I was right about it being on the pipe. When I hopped onto here, like this, and see if I can get it to work again, like that, I was on the right track. It was on the side, just down here, like on these little hanging bits, the bits that support the pipe itself. So I could literally just like crouch on the corner here and pick it up. This is where it was, I believe. So that's that, uh, that stash solved. Okay, here we are. Ah oh, yes, let's get my current meat chunk equipped. I now have the Seasoned Stalker achievement for some reason. Okay. 
should be about to encounter. Well, that was the first one I picked up. It's the one I was after as well. And another collar book. What are the chances of that? It's, um... Not really a location I can pick it up, though. It's moving back towards me. There we go. There's another artifact just across there. I, I can't cross that. I'm going to have to follow the land. Okay, we can jump over here. And it's underwater. There it is. Ah. It's another one of these. What are they called again? A bubble. So I could, like, double up on bubbles if I wanted to reduce a ton of radiation. And I didn't spot this before. Where does this go? Oh. That's really well hidden, isn't it? Interesting. I suppose you can kind of tell from the map. It's really obvious now that I've found it, actually. But yeah, if you weren't, like, looking straight at that point, why would you be? Because you wouldn't cross over this giant bit of water. You wouldn't even know it was there, like, from this angle. You can't tell. Oh, I think I found a sight of where I was, uh, over-encumbered. It's just a ton of pistols on the floor. So you can tell wherever I was when I was carrying too much. It'd be nice if you could mark stashes yourself on the map. That'd be an interesting feature. Like, I could mark a stash here because there's just a ton of guns. That's the point I'd chosen to, like, drop everything that wasn't worth selling when I was first experimenting with how much stuff could be damaged when I try and repair it. Alright, I think we're well and truly done with this first area, so let's just take everything of... any reasonable value with us. Probably not the guns, to be honest, because I'm never going to use them. My trophy weapons can stay here. Now we can't move now. Okay. So what don't we want? In fact, never mind that, I've got goldfish. Oh, it's still too overloaded. That'll do. I'll just leave a small amount of vodka here. Because realistically, I only actually need it in this area anyway. Okay, that's my... Yeah, that's my inventory sorted out. Let's ram a loaf of bread down our gullet. And now we just head back out to the lab and I can hand in this uh, artifact quest. Which should then be... The last quest in this area. Or at least for the, uh, the lab. I'm actually quite excited to get into Prepyat itself, because the uh, the technicians that should be able to finally improve all this gear that I can't do anything with. Because both, uh, both the technicians in this area and in the starting area apparently can't do the uh, higher tier upgrades. And even though I've explored pretty much every map marker in both the areas, I've yet to find some of the highest tier tools. So I'm assuming they can only be found in Prepyat. What do you want? Okay, I have something for you. A meat chunk and a collar box. Take them. So I got 6,000. And two stash coordinates. Okay. And I can give this guy... The fellas detectors. Return them to Elm with the guides. Anything else is personal business. Do you work for Elm? No, a favor for a favor. Okay, fair enough. So, do I not get anything for that? Oh, so it actually took the Velas out of my equipment slot instead of just the ones in my bag. That was nice of him, wasn't it? Oh. I was just checking around the inventories to see if anything new had popped up, because I know that after a few quests you complete, you do get different items in trader inventories. Owl having the, uh, the Velas being an example. And look at this. This is Farog in Haman's shop. For 9,000 rubles. And he's wandered off. I can't trade with him from that far away, apparently. Just stand still, man. Let me give you my money. Okay. Hello. It's always nice to see a new face in our bunker. What do you mean a new face? I've done like 20 jobs for you so far. 
So this looks a lot like a Velas, but it's new. I want to test this out. And I now have a quest marker up here. He's going to improvise detector. Okay. So I'm assuming I have to use the Svarok for this. You see, this is why you should always check your map and your quest logs and trader inventories and everything after completing quests. And, you know, getting new equipment and stuff. There's so much you'll miss if you don't do it. Like, for example, in, um, Yhanov there. I've been told that I've missed a ton of interactions with the different factions, Duty and Freedom, because of how neutrally I've played things with intel files and stuff. Like selling things to Owl. So I've in a sense done a really, like, I think sort of neutral stalker playthrough, rather than member of either faction. Those are zombies there, aren't they? Yeah, I can hear them from like two miles away again. Looks like I'm going to need to repair this rifle. Yeah, it's lost a few pips. Oh. Now that is new. Okay. Let's get over there. What is this? <laughs> what was that? I mean, thanks for the gear and all lads, but what? Whichever way we go, we always end up at the same exact spot. I still can't get used to this fog. It's weird. The Chaperni disappeared without a trace. Maybe he found a way out? B6. We have run out of water. The Colonel flipped his lid and shot two people at point-blank range and then himself. Now I'm on my own in this damn anomaly. If I hadn't fixed for our communications with HQ to go down, they could have rescued us. And you they wouldn't have existed. I wonder how things would have turned out. Ah, screw it. That Captain Tachinko died a long time ago. And this General Tachinko of duty will follow him. That's justice, I suppose. Hmm, okay. That's an interesting one. So where am I supposed to take this back to? Oh, so we still have a quest. To give the PDA of duty to interested parties. You know what, let's stir up some shit. Let's go give it to Freedom. Okay, I found Judy found his PDA. Are you interested? As long as it's got something useful on it. Oh, and he does find it interesting. Turns out their own history is full of crap. I pay you well for it. Take it. So we got four grand, a gun, 300 rounds, which will fit in our G36. Hmm, nice. I'm not going to give him the documents from, um, from Jupiter, though. Fall in. Remember, Duty's stalwart traditions were laid down by General Tachenko himself. He lied to his comrades, misled the HQ, and bravely died in a space bubble. Here's to all members of duty following his lead. Ha ha ha! Nobody knows what really happened. It's not like you Hail were there and well met. Oh, they're already talking about it. That's it, that's a job well done. Okay, I think before we leave, um, before we leave Yanov, I'm gonna go take one last check around a few of the anomalies around here with my new detector to see if we can find any new uh, artifacts. So let's head up to the ash heap. Oh, it can tell me, um... It can tell me if there's any artifacts there just from here, apparently. Not detected any artifacts. Though I don't know if that's necessarily going to be true. Yeah, soul, soul, and stone blood apparently there. But... I have read a little bit about one of these detectors just a minute ago because I wanted to find out if there was anything else I was going to miss with them. And the wiki page said that it can detect artifacts which aren't known to science. So there's a, a whole 
possibility that those scanners aren't actually telling the truth and I forgot to repair my rifle. I'll be right back. <laughs> 